Inkjet papers and printers are susceptible to changes in the environment, particularly temperature and humidity. Because of this, paper manufacturers and equipment manufacturers have environmental specifications. Noritsu inkjet printers have a humidity control unit available as an option. This unit is included with inkjet printers purchased in North America. The purpose of the humidity control unit is to prevent roll paper from being exposed to humidity levels outside the recommended specification. The use of this unit is based on the ambient humidity of the room where the printer is located. To keep the printer running smoothly, the room humidity should be kept between 30 to 75 percent. It may be necessary to use a humidifier or dehumidifier to achieve these levels. Humidity levels should be monitored with a hygrometer. Hygrometers are inexpensive and can be found at most hardware stores. In colder climates, most heating systems will cause low humidity as the weather gets colder. High humidity can occur in locales that have warm climates near oceans or warm bodies of water. For example, when there is too much humidity, paper can curl on the side and have waves in the middle. Conversely, when the humidity is very low, the paper will have excessive curl. The humidity control power switch for the QSS Green and Green 4 printers is located just inside the rear door. This is also the location of the humidity control power switch for older printers such as the M300, D701, and D703. On the QSS Green 3, Green 2, and the D1005 printers, the power switch for this unit is located behind the lower right front door. It is important to note that if the humidity control unit is used incorrectly, it can intensify unwanted effects on the paper. When used correctly, it will help control the humidity level inside the printer. Your local Noritsu representative will be able to guide you as to when to turn the humidity control unit on or off, as this varies according to unique local conditions. In general, if the humidity drops to 30% or lower, or if the paper starts to curl, the humidity control unit should be engaged. To enable the humidity control unit for low humidity for the QSS Green or QSS Green 4 printer, attach the humidity control plate so that the blue dot is showing. Then, turn on the power switch for the humidity control unit. There are two humidity control plates on the QSS Green 3, Green 2, and the D1005 printers. To enable the humidity control unit for a low humidity on these printers, attach the humidity control plates so that the plus sign and the yellow dot are showing for both the A and B magazine positions. Then, turn on the power switch for the humidity control unit. When the humidity control plates are in this position, humidity is added inside the printer. When the humidity rises to acceptable levels, the humidity control unit power switch should be turned off. In general, if the ambient humidity rises to 75% or above, or if the paper becomes wavy, the humidity control unit should also be engaged. To enable the humidity control unit for high humidity for the QSS Green or QSS Green 4 printer, attach the humidity control plate so that the red dot is showing. Then. Turn on the power switch for the humidity control unit. To enable the humidity control unit for high humidity for the QSS Green 3, Green 2, and the D1005 printers, attach the humidity control plate so that the minus sign and the green dot are showing for both the A and B magazine positions. Then turn on the power switch for the humidity control unit. When the humidity control plates are in this position, humidity is removed from inside the printer. When the humidity drops to acceptable levels, the humidity control unit power switch should be turned off. It is important to note that roll paper and sheet paper storage can help prevent humidity-related issues. Once a roll or sheet paper is removed from its original packaging and not loaded into the printer, it should be stored in an appropriate bag or paper storage case. In cases of very low humidity, a humidity control pack may be added to the paper storage container to prevent the paper from drying out. Because humidity conditions change throughout the year, the humidity in the printer room should be monitored. It is always a good idea to take preventative actions to avoid problems in the future. Your local representative will be able to guide you as to when you should turn your humidity control unit on or off, as this varies according to local conditions. For more information, you can contact the Naritsu Support Hotline or email us at tech underscore support at naritsu.com.